All right, welcome back, guys. This is the second tutorial of the F-18 uh, series I'm doing. Just while the stream's down, get some DCS content out to you guys. So we have just finished starting the jet up. We're heading out to the, the runway. We're going to take off, and we're going to go quickly through setting up your radar so that you're the quickest and easiest way to set your radar up to be most combat efficient and effective without having to click shit in the cockpit. Okay, so we're going to set ourselves up. Unfortunately, you can't do it until you get airborne, weight off wheels, and the radar won't let you set up your weapon modes until uh, you've gotten weight off wheels and get airborne. So as soon as we get airborne, we're going to quickly run through, it shouldn't take us too long, how to set up your, your controls, your radar, and then that'll do us keep this nice and short. Let's get ourselves in the air. Flaps up. Let's come out of burner. Alright, so we're going to go ahead, put ourselves attitude hold, a little bit of a climb. Okay, so settings, controls we need. So we're going to need, uh, you're going to need select AMRAM. Okay, you're going to need to get these ones bound to your hotel. Select AMRAM, select Sparrow, select Sidewinder. Okay, those ones there is what you're going to do. So we're going to quickly cover setting up each radar mode for AMRAM, Sidewinder, and your Sparrow. Okay, that's what we're, uh, the goal of this tutorial is. So when you get weight off wheels, you can either select air to air mode, okay, to get your radar on, or you can just press any of those buttons. So AMRAM, Sparrow, Sidewinder. Okay, so we're gonna go AMRAM, just turn master on so we don't have the cross out there. So you can tell you're an AMRAM, or 120 because it'll say either a c for aim 120 charlie or a b for aim 120 bravo and it'll tell you how many actual weapons you've got fitted so it says we've got four there we confirm on the jet we have four 120 charlies on board so we are good to go there so first things first with the aim 120 and the aim 7 you want to set up your your uh your mode for the the missile so over here this is to set up the seeker head on the actual missile itself. Okay, so we're gonna go radar cross section is gonna be small, size small. Okay, so we're telling the missile that they're looking for a small target, small radar cross section. So it's gonna have more chance of picking up a fighter, which is generally what you're gonna be attacking when you're shooting things down with the AMRAM. All right, so now we're gonna quickly go to our radar screen. So you can see it's doing its thing. We're currently set at two bar, 40 mile scan, and we're at a 140 degree scan sweep. Okay, azimuth for the, uh, the the radar. So this is my personal preference and I'll explain why after we go through. So we're gonna set this to four bar, so four B, change that to 80 mile, and then we're gonna go to 60 degree sweep. Press set to save. Okay, so now that has saved our radar and our missile settings for the AIM-120. Now we're gonna go to our AIM-7. So we have no AIM-7s fitted to the aircraft, but we can still select the weapon mode uh, which is going to bring up a different choice of radar. So if you were to have AIM-7s on, you can either have uh, your mode loft or normal or helo. Okay, whatever you want. And then size, same deal. Set it to small. Okay. Then we're going to come over here. So because my AIM-7, if I was carrying, is a, you know, we have to hold constant lock. We have to keep lock on the aircraft to for the missile to track. Okay, it's using our radar to guide itself. We're gonna leave it on full bar. We're gonna be at 40 mile scan now because we're not gonna be shooting an AMRA, uh, sorry, a AIM-7 from you know anywhere between 80 and 40 mile. That's just a waste of a missile. We're gonna leave it on 40 mile scan. And again, we're gonna change this to 60 degree sweep. Press set to save. Then we're gonna go nice and quick. AIM-120, full bar, because it's our closest missile. Okay, short range only. We're gonna go 20 mile scan, leave it in full bar, and we're gonna change this to 40 degree sweep. Okay, so now we've set our missile modes up. So you can see as we cycle through, it has saved it. Radar cross section small, size small, four bar, 80 mile, 60 degree sweep. Bam, our Sparrow is mode normal, size small, four bar scan, 40 mile, 40 mile scan range, and 60 degree sweep. And our AIM 9X or M, whatever you're using, your sidewinder, four bar, 
20 mile 40 degree sweep okay so the reason why i set it up that way is if i get a contact call out of a bandit and they're you know they're they're a ways out the weapon i'm going to employ if they're you know outside of 40 mile is i'm going to be looking for an aim 120 okay so aim 120 is our longest range air, -to air missile we can carry on the hornet so that's why i set the aim 120 up at an 80 mile scan so anything outside 80 mile you don't really have to worry about in terms of um you know it's not a threat to you when you're flying around if there's if you get a like a an awx call of like there's a, a bandit 200 miles away you don't have to worry about that unless you're like going hunting for players and you want to go kill some but 200 miles that's a that's a long flight to get there so generally anything under 80 mile is what you want to kind of pique your interest for the radar so that's why I have the AIM-120 set to 80 degree or 80 mile scan. Now just say we get a, a call out or a data link contact pops up and they're within 40 mile from us. So rather than I can leave it in AIM-120 mode um, and slew my radar down. So on your radar real quick, 80 miles and then we got 60, 40, 20, zero. So it's like, that's how far out the uh, the radar scan should go to 160 okay so those notches just represent the, the gap so it'll be a 10 mile gap 40 30 20 10 blah 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 20 mile 15 10 5 so on and so forth so if i get a call out of like their uh their 40 mile okay i don't need to see anything past the 40 mile mark so i can just quickly go all right they're within 40 mile Bam, I just select my AIM-7, even though I don't have AIM-7 selected, but it changes my radar mode to 40 miles, so I can, you know, declutter the radar from as much crap on it to the most important shit only. Same deal if I get a call out there within 20 mile, I can select my Sidewinder, and it changes the radar mode to 20. If you don't do that, and you're like, oh, fuck, I got... You're flying along, and you're like, yeah, cool. Uh, AWOX just said you've merged okay so they're within 20 and like oh fuck fuck so you you gotta look down here and you go 20 fucking you're clicking buttons like it's just too much shit you want to have your head out of the cockpit as much as possible kind of just flying and just glancing at your radar is what you're after so it's just a quick and easy way to change your radar mode so 80 degrees 40 so 80 mile 40 mile 20 mile that's what i set them up as all right that's gonna do us boys next one will be how to actually use the radar in conjunction with the dartling all right hope you enjoyed catches next time